Hi there and welcome to another PST Toots spoon fed Photoshop video tutorial. This video tutorial is going to take you through Fabio's wavy blackberry style wallpaper. You can see all of the steps on the website and you can see more of Fabio's work over at his website. I'm Gavin Steele and I'm going to be taking you through that particular design today. I've already got my canvas up on the screen. I filled that in with black, it's 800 by 600 pixels, and I've added a new layer. Right, I'm going to give myself a little bit more space to work with. I'm just going to drag out the canvas like so. And using the selection tool over here, I'm going to select on this new layer a nice big chunk of the bottom like so. Then, using the gradient tool, I'm going to apply this gradient. I've got it red to red and the opacity is set to zero. Holding down shift, I'm going to draw a straight line from the bottom all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to start transforming that shape using the warp tool and the flag setting. I'm going to set that to 20%. Click on OK. And then I'm going to apply one more transformation. I'm going to distort it and I'm going to bring the right hand side just up a little bit like so, so that the right hand side is higher than the left hand side. Then I'm going to take that. Okay, we need to add one more shape and we're going to apply it in exactly the same way but it's going to be a little bit thinner so using the rectangle tool I'm just going to select the shape like so. Again we're going to fill it with a gradient tool in exactly the same way. holding down shift to get a straight line and we're going to transform that using the warp tool as well. Again we're going to go to flag and set it to 20. Fit in there. Okay. But to keep the shape going we're going to transform that and we're going to flip it horizontally. Okay. And then we're just going to move it down into place until you get something like that. Okay, we're now going to apply a layer style to each of these shapes and we're going to apply an inner shadow. Change that to normal and we're going to choose a pink color that Fabio's picked out that is FFB3B3. We're going to set the angle to minus 90, distance is 45, and we're going to change the size to 70, that looks good. Click on OK. We're going to blur that with a Gaussian blur. We're going to set that to 2 pixels. Click on OK. Holding down Control on the Mac, we're going to copy that layer style, and then we're going to paste it into the other layer, and then we're going to apply that Gaussian blur again. And that's the background done. The next step is to work on our lines. From left to right, we're going to apply some paths that are going to look like flickers of light or little tent tentacles. So, at the top of these layers, we're going to add a new folder, and we're going to call that folder Lines. Now, it's good practice to keep things in folders, just so when you come back, you can edit them without changing the whole, the whole image itself. Right, so within Lines, we're going to draw some paths. So we're going to use the pen tool to do that. Make sure you've got it set on white. And starting at the left hand side, we're going to draw some paths out. Like so. Now I'm going to save each of these paths by creating a new path layer. Okay. So on this new one, we're going to come down the bottom like so. Okay, I'm going to add a couple more. Now, when we start to implement these, it's really important that you remember to do each path and each stroke line on its own layer. 
Okay, so I'll stick with those. Actually, I might have one more that's just going to peek out the bottom down here. Okay, so like I said, for each path, make sure it's on its own layer. So for this first path, I'm going to come up to the brush tool, make sure it's set on something like 13. I'm going to add a bit of hardness, maybe 12%. 13 will do. Number 12. And then I'm going to come back down to my path selector. Make sure you've got the layer selected you want to create the path on. Control click and apply the stroke. I'm not going to simulate the pressure for this one. Make sure you've got the brush selected and there's our first path. So like I said, I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to select next path. Control and click. And we're just going to go through each of our layers adding a path at a time. Now for these next few ones I am going to leave the simulate pressure checked and you can see the effect that we get from that. Make sure you put it on its own layer like so and then finally this last one again on its own layer Control clicking and stroke the path and click on OK. Right, so each of those is selected. OK, we can see each of those paths. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to apply a layer style for all of those brushes that we've just applied. So starting on the top one, I'm just going to double click and we're going to apply an inner glow. We're going to set that to color dodge. We're going to have the opacity set to 100. Chokes left at zero. Size, yep, we're going to change that to, let's say, 8. Make sure the source is set to center. Choose white for the color. Click on OK. And then we're going to set an overlay color. And we're going to use pink mode for that. Pink color, even. We're going to use FF5C78 and click on OK. And you can see a preview of that just taking, taking shape in the background. OK. Now before I continue, I've just forgotten to set our lines folder to screen. Right, so I'm going to again copy the layer style, control click on the layer, copy the style click on the next layer, control click and paste. Now you know when each one's been applied because you get a little drop down box like so. Okay, and that's all of the styles applied to each of those. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some masks, some reveal all masks to these shapes just to play around with the endings where you want to be, if you want to be a sharp ending or anything like that. So let's not have that path selected. Oop. Okay. So I'm going to click on this layer, which is the one that comes down the bottom. I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to select layer mask and reveal all. Make sure it's changed it from black or to black from whenever it was. Select the brush tool. Increase the size a little bit. Just pressing the open bracket, or the end bracket, sorry, on the keyboard, the square brackets. And I'm just going to apply a mask to the end there. Nope, that's the wrong, that's my mistake. It's this one down here, right. So you can see, I'm just going to sharpen the edge of it a little bit, like so. And I'm going to move up my layers, trying to remember where each one was. Layer mask, reveal all. Again, make sure it's on black. And then we're just going to remove a bit of that. Don't worry about that line, that's just the path line. Okay, if I select. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, and I'm just sharpening with my brush tool. Just playing around with the edge over here. 
Okay, select the next layer. I'm just going to quickly go through each of these, applying these masks. Actually, this layer is okay. I might try and get it to finish a little bit earlier. Okay, again with this one, just get it finishing a little bit earlier. And then the last one. Okay, so I'm happy with the way that they're looking. Okay, to get your own kind of feel of things, you can change brush sizes, you can change the hardness of the brush as you go along. Let's close that down. We're going to add a new layer in here and we're going to fill it with a nice big brush tool. And we're going to create a little red bar down the right hand side. So choose one of the red colors and just going to fill that a couple of touches like so. And then I'm going to come up to my layers and we're going to add an adjustment layer. I'm going to have a play around with the hue and saturation. Make sure you set it to colorize. We're going to set the hue to 11. Saturation is going to be up to 82. And the lightness is going to be set to 4. Click on OK. Now again, you can play around with those to get different colors. There's some really nice blue effects. Finally, I'm going to come down to the layer adjustment again. And we're going to have a photo filter. Choose a yellowy color. Like so. Density we're going to have as high as 85. Make sure you've got pressure luminosity. Okay, that might be a little bit too yellow. So. Okay. Click on OK, and then click on OK. Now, there's lots of things you can play around with there. Like I said, you can play around with the hue and saturation. Once you've done them, they're on at their own layer. You can just double click on that layer, and you can apply different blending options to that layer, or you can drop it in the bin. And that's the tutorial, basically. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing all of your interpretations of Fabio's brilliant tutorial on the Flickr group. I'm Gavin Steele, thank you very much.